Hello everybody and thank you for joining tonight. This is your host Nino and this is my main desktop computer's monitor right next to the venerable XP machine. And I tell you what, I haven't turned it on in six years either. And I'm greeting by this. <laughs> I did not even remember that this thing was still running Windows, let alone to remember the username of this monstrosity. So, I have no idea. I tried a couple of ones which I thought that they might be it, but they are not. And now wish me luck in trying to um, negotiate with Windows 10 into letting me back into my machine. So, what's the plan? The plan is to get some sort of Linux, mount a disk, rename some form of executable into some form of other executable, and just hope that I can thereby get a command prompt on Windows and, and do things there. But, you know, so far I've only read that that should be possible. I haven't yet done it though, so wish me luck. All right, issue number one I came across was that when I was trying to mount the disk, basically on this line, I was getting this message that uh, metadata kept in Windows cage, refused to mount, blah, 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 blah. So I then executed, I'm now on a sort of Ubuntu derivative, this ntfs fix command. So here you have it, ntfs fix def sda2. It will likely be sda2 because sda1 contains this Windows boot partition, which is not of particular interest to us. So SDA2, and now I should have been able to mount the Windows partition as read write. Let's see how it gets from here. Apparently, I need a program called change nt password, like chntpw. Let's see how that goes. I'm installing it right now. Change nt password l sam apparently is the option necessary in order to figure out the account names that we might be interested in. And chntpwi Sam seems to kick up a sort of interactive menu where I have now selected one in order to edit user data and passwords. The one I'm interested in is user which will be, yeah, exactly, 3.9. You got that correctly, my dear. <laughs> it guessed it correctly. Yes, fine. And then clear or blank the user password. And unlock and enable the user account. Probably locked now. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, okay. So, first, let's say one. Oh, when I say one, nothing works, right? Okay, I say one from the keyboard to the right side, to the left side. So, probably has a blank password. Weird. It had a password. And unblock the user. So, all right, blank the password, I'm, I'm serious. Okay, uh, yeah, I think I'm done. So I'm just gonna say Q for quitting, quitting it. What to do? Q, quit. Yes. Write high files? Sure. Okay, maybe that was it. Fine. Then, if so it was, then I'm just going to say shut down R now. And let's see whether Windows will let me in.
the moment of truth. BIOS is showing. Windows is loading. Cooling is sounding like a jet fighter. The suspense is rising. Windows is being prepared. Please do not turn off the computer. Well, <laughs> you bet it's being prepared. Some updates are apparently being finalized. Updates from hmm, six years ago. And I am greeted by the familiar welcome screen. And here is my user. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see whether that is going to go anywhere. The screen blanked again after showing me this little user thing, like like cycling thing, but I have a mouse cursor again. Mm. So I am full of hope that I will perhaps finally get into my Windows system. At least it did not throw me out yet, right? So it's no longer gonna be a wrong password story. But if anything were to happen now, it would be more like a messed up your computer installation story. Which is okay and only fair. Problem with your Microsoft account. Your Microsoft account needs to be repaired. Likely the password has been changed. Click this message in order to handle the problem in the settings maybe or something like that well that does look a little disconcerting huh i'm unhappy now come on focus escape the black screen i'll simply give it no password the password has been changed from blank to blank Okay. Well, this is uncomfortable. Resetting my Microsoft account is not something I imagined would look that way in the end. Okay, I selected to log myself out. And now if I just click to log myself in, will that maybe work? Let's see. Yes. <laughs> So, there you go, the full procedure of resetting one's six-year-old computer's password and exploring the system further. Well, I think that's gonna have been it for this episode. So, should you have ever wondered what it looks like to reset the Windows 10 password under... Ubuntu Linux booting from a trusty USB stick. Well, <laughs> you just saw the whole procedure and I do hope you enjoyed it. And what I will now do is <laughs> make these two friends here be together again after all of this long time. And as to you, well, I hope to greet you here soon again, hopefully as a regular guest. Until then, have a wonderful time, and from me, goodbye.